Pete Berger said he thought we were too late. Smelt had been in the streams a week ago, but for the past two days, nothing. He said we could walk down to a little upper peninsula creek that used to be good in years past, but he didn't hold out much hope today. Oh, I see him in there now. Yeah. You can go right up ahead of me in that next place. Oh, yeah, they're bunched in there. This is where I always get. Maybe it's spot, huh? Oh, 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 Peter! My, my, look at this. Well, once again, we hit it. Yep. I can't believe this. <laughs> During the day. Oh, tasty little things. Oh, Pete is going to get back in there, I can tell. There they are. You all set? Sure. Look at that. Now, while he's emptying that, I'm going to go in for a dip. Yeah, go ahead. Well, Pete, we're going to be done here in just a, just a few seconds. Yep. Smelt dipping during the day, not something you can count on, but when you find it, it's fabulous. I think more of them are down here a little farther. Oh, I can see. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. There's some nice ones in here, too. Oh, yeah. You see? This is still early for the run in this respect. Most of the time, when you get near the end of the end of the run, the, the smelt are a lot bigger. There you get them big males. Mm -hmm. That's a small one. That's a small one right there. Remember how I kept the big one? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a small one. And that's a male right there. You can... Yeah. Huh. The male smelt. Let's see what else we got in here. Remember, small that's a smell. male. When I squeezed the belly right and whitish milt came out, the smelt was a male. If a few okay. eggs appeared, I'd know it was a female. These all appear to be males. I wonder if they all are. These are all males. We could have filled our buckets right here, but downstream the smelt were even thicker. This is unbelievable. We, we were just dipping upstream there, got this bucket full, and there weren't, weren't a smidgen of the smelt that there are right here. Wow! What do you think, John? You want me to go in and take a dip full? Yeah, let's try it. Look at them up there in that, uh, ahead of that log. Well, I'll sneak in here. They'll probably scatter a little bit, but... Oh, this is going to be obscene smelt dipping. Oh, this is just... Can you imagine at night when they're in here? There we go. Oh, there is a, a net full of smelt. Oh my goodness. I tell you, but you know, this is enough smelt right here. Look at them scattering all through here. This is enough smelt here as far as I'm concerned for, for the year for me and my family. But I don't need it. I have more than that in the bucket. So I'm going to practice catch and release. You know, if you don't need them, why keep them? Look at that. I wouldn't mind getting a, dipping a master angler smelt here if I could find one. Something for our trophy awards. But there don't seem to be any huge ones. Oh, a few of them left in the net. This is something else. But look, they just keep right on coming and moving right up through. The smelt weren't really running right now like they do at night. They were holding their positions in the stream. The spawning activity begins after dark. Well, they're thick in here, Pete. Yep. See, look at here. Pete's bucket is empty now, but that'll change in a flash. You can probably get those right down there. Yep. Are you ready? Two minutes. Yeah. We're ready. Anymore? <laughs> That's a five-gallon pail full. Oh. You guys got any containers to put them in? No, we. I, this is plenty for us, Pete. I mean, we really don't need okay. all that many. But look at that. That's, for a lot of people, that's a whole night's dipping right there in that one. Oh. There they go. It sure was. Almost a five gallon tail 
I don't know really how many more we need. I can get some more right in here. Right there you can go. Yeah. Walk in with your, uh, hey? Yeah. Right? Walk in with your dippers and go ahead there. And you'll be in shallow water. Oh yeah, this is something else up here, John. Make it right yeah, this is, th this is thicker with smelt and I'm closer to them than I've ever been. Even when we did that dipping before, this is going to be something else. Oh man. I don't know what to say, but this is definite overindulgence in smelt. Huh? Yeah, well, I guess... Why don't you take a picture of this, Tim? How, how much do we need, John? I think we have enough. I mean, how much do you need, Tim? Do, do, do we need this dip? We don't need it? I tell you, there's some of you folks that wished you had smelt like this, and I'm going to put them back for you. There they go. Wow. Yeah, maybe we'll get a few more. Yeah, we'll take a few more. I remember dipping too many smelt. Tim Farragan remembers years when he brought home more than he cared to clean. So this year, we were prudent and practical about how many we wanted to take home. Sure, they're loaded in the stream right now. Sure, they're easy to dip. There's no limit. And sure, we might not see this again for years, maybe never again, but that's no excuse for being a fish or game hog. You know, at times like this, you have to ask yourself, why do I hunt and fish? Why am I here? Is it to take everything I can up to the limit just because I can? Well, I wanted to take a dip or two like this just to see what it was like, but none of us needed that many more smelt. Pete Berger told us that he had some friends, though, who wanted more smelt, so we should at least fill up our bucket. But there was no point in taking more than that because, in all likelihood, they'd spoil before anybody cleaned them. And to me, conservation is wise use of what's available, but not overuse. That's a bucket full. If nobody finds out where this little Upper Peninsula stream is, the smelt will be there during the day next year. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not telling. <laughs>